We welcome you back inside the booth and fresh off the interview with Hollis Davidson. We bring in Auburn's other tight end commit. It's Ryan G and Ryan, we appreciate the time, man. Uh, obviously you got an impressive, you know, senior season that you guys are leading over there. So we appreciate you taking the time, man, to sit here and talk with us amidst what is a, uh, a push to the, to the state title. I mean, let's just be honest what you guys are trying to accomplish this year. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate you having me. Let's kind of talk first off, man. I know you've been committed to Auburn for a while. I mean, this has been no secret, but you know, this is kind of the what we talk about in the recruiting world, flip season. So kind of talk to me about what made Auburn the decision for you in the beginning and, and what about that staff and just what about this team has said, hey, I want to stick with this commitment to Auburn. Definitely, 100%. Uh, going into it, it was between Miami and Auburn, my two. And I wanted to be one of the first ones to, or one of the early ones to come in the class so I could help build it out, become one of the better classes in the nation. So it was obviously education. That's a big thing for me and my family. The involvement in the tight end, the offense, my relationship with Coach Agamo and Coach Freeze, obviously. But continuing to see how they're doing on the field, obviously, the tight ends are playing well. Um, with the injury to Brandon Frazier, they're still holding up well with the kids that are having to roll up and make a big uh, step up. Mm-hmm. And I, we all just see the future as Auburn recruits. We know that we'll be out there next year doing what we need to do and getting us another SEC ch- uh, title. You talked about, you know, just seeing what you guys can accomplish down the road. This 2025 class looks pretty special on paper. Talk to me about that vision that Coach Freeze and this entire Auburn family, this staff, has kind of pitched to you guys of why this 2025 class can be the difference. Definitely. He's uh, Before I committed, he was just telling me that there needs to be – we need to stack good class on good class on good class to get it back to where it needs to be. And we're going to be a second true class that comes through Auburn. We're going to be make an impact just like the 24 class is making. And obviously, we all appreciate it, and we're all going to continue to get, try to get guys in this class, and we're going to try to keep the guys we have committed committed. Ryan, talk more about uh, the class and, and – and- the staff, Coach Freeze and Coach Coach Ben, uh, what about them made you uh, want to play for them? 100%. I love Coach Freeze. The faith that he brings in his program and keeps it as like a brotherhood. I love that. It's kind of the same as I have right now at Milton. But obviously with Coach Agamoa, he recruited me at Liberty. He offered me at Liberty, and we started a relationship there. And then when he came over to Auburn, he came to the school one day. I didn't even know he'd moved over yet. And he, came, he had an Auburn hat on, and I was like, oh, this is new. <laughs> and he offered me, and then since then we kept talking, and obviously I felt like this is the place for me, so I committed to him, and we continue to put our relationship weekly on Wednesdays. We have calls, FaceTimes, and just talk. Well, your class is 25 class. You got your quarterback, finally. What is what is adding Deuce Knight to this class? Like, what what has that done for this class, and, and how do you think – like, is the class going to grow some more, you think? How, how is it going to finish out? Uh, definitely. I feel like it can grow, but obviously locking Deuce down was a big thing. It helped us get uh, keep Derek Smith and obviously get Sam Turner. Mm-hmm. Obviously, all the offensive guys and defense guys are just happy to have him on board. And obviously, we know that he'll be making an impact soon and that he's a great guy leading his team in Mississippi. Obviously, man, you talked about, you know, that 2025 class on paper per 24-7 sports on three rivals, wherever you look. It's one of the best in the country and continuing to grow. So, Ryan, we kind of leave it here with you, man. I mean, what's your message to Auburn fans and just your level of excitement? I know you want to finish out this senior year strong, but what's your level of excitement to finally get on the field and kind of get in with these guys, not just the 2025, but the group that's already there over on the plains? Talk about that excitement level. Definitely. I'm really excited. Obviously, I'm ready to get there in December for bowl practice. I'm ready for that. But I'm also excited to finish out our cha- our season here at Milton. We're 8 0. Hopefully, we continue leading going to that into the playoffs. We got a few tough teams in the playoffs, but hopefully, if we play how we're supposed to play, we'll go to the championship again. But I'm very excited, as, as the whole class is, to get there, go make an impact. And my, my message is War Eagle. That's awesome. Ryan G, we appreciate the time, man. And uh, like we said, enjoy the rest of that senior season. You don't get too many of those opportunities left. And it's funny, you mentioned Miami was one of those finalists. Obviously, uh, your starting quarterback over there is a pretty good player, and he's going to be heading. Just real quick before we get you out of here, talk about your relationship with him and just what do you think of him as a, as a prospect in terms of him continuing on in his college career? 100%. He, that's my brother. We've been we've been friends since, I don't even, we've been friends since like the sandbox. We've been third grade. We played football, everything. Or I started playing football in sixth grade, but we were playing baseball all the way up growing up. Families got really close. I ended up moving away. I came back. We picked it up right then. And then obviously now he's he blew up. He's the uh, face around Miami, uh, their class. 
and he's very excited to go down there and continue to build what they got going there. But he's a great player, dynamic player, can do everything you need as a coach, and that's that's my guy, Luke. Yeah, Luke Nickel, really good football player, and obviously a big part of him and Ryan and a lot of faces on that Milton team as they're trying to push for a state title. Ryan, we appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your senior season, man, and we'll obviously stay in touch with you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.